Okay, welcome to the first Harpy MIDI video tutorial. I'll try to show you here how to open a file and play with it with Harpy, so you can get to know the basic functionalities of the software. So let's start. Let's open a file. You found this one on the web. This is a La Cucaracha. It's this is a simple file. It doesn't have too many notes or tracks, so you'll not get confused with what you see on the screen. So I just open the file. By the way, if you want to get this file from the web, go to this address. Okay, so let's play. So what you see here is, uh, are the notes being played. And it's a kind of a staff, but instead of having standard musical notation, you will see bars. Each part is a note, and you'll see the pitch and the duration of it. Let's zoom out here. Okay, let's go to the beginning. So what you see here is that every part has a text inside. And the text is defined by this selection here. By default, you'll get the note names for the note. But the interesting thing is that you can see the diatonic harmonica tab symbol. So here for example you see the whole number and if you have to blow or inhale that hold. You can switch also to chromatic tab or even if you have a transposed instrument like a saxophone you can get the display tone transposed. So let's go back to the diatonic tab. So, and we'll open here. The symbols here are referred to this harmonica on this side. So, this is for a C major diatonic harmonica. So, the for blow is a C actually. You can change the key of this harmonica. And if you have a registered version, you can pick whatever key you want. If you have a free version, there's only some options available. For example, a big G harp. Uh, you can see that the G will also uh, work for this part of the tune. And you'll see that the layout of the harp changed. And now there's an interesting thing here. You see, I call it stats, but actually it's, a, it's kind of a summary of notes being played. So here you have how many blow and inhale notes, bends, overblows, which are the tricky ones, and, and available, which are outside the range of the harmonica. In this case, it's this bass part. So you see, for the G-harp, you have 10 overblows. Uh, you can move around, by the way, with the left and right key, and so it's moving forward. So you see that this part, you need an overblow, and an overblow is a very advanced technique on harmonica, and probably you will not use it. So let's go back to the C harp. So, because the tune is in C, and that would be a first position playing. Actually, you might have heard Big Walter Horton playing a version of this tune. And he uses more or less the same melody lines, but on an A harp. Okay, I'll close this. Uh, by the way, if you play here, you see the notes being played. Okay, I'll close here. Okay, I'll always press the play button to play and start, uh, stop uh, the tune, but you can also use this space bar here. So pick it. I'll stop with the space bar. I will open this tool with me a second. Okay, I put this here so you can see more or less what I'm doing with the mouse and the keyboard. So I'll press the space bar. Again, you have to have to have the main window selected for the keys to work. So space. And stop. You can move around with left and right. And 
you can use the mouse here. For example, if you're playing a tune, you want to go back, you just press the mouse here, the left button in the bot at the bottom of the staff. Okay. Now a very good thing for practicing is that you can have a selection of a part of a tune that you want to be focused on. You can use the the top of the staff. You see the arrow of the cursor changes. So here you can use the left and right mouse button to make a selection. With the left is the beginning of the selection and with the right is the end. And you'll see you have a a blue square rectangle around the notes. And you can loop here. So if I play now uh, go to the beginning of the selection with this chain. You can slow down maybe if you want to practice this. To clear up this selection, now you press the escape key on your keyboard. Okay. Uh, keep in mind that sometimes the key won't respond. For that, maybe a simple click on any part of the screen will get back the focus of the software to the main screen and then the key will work. So, let's go back. Now let's suppose that you don't really want to play these band notes. Uh, this song is in the key of C as I told you, it's just in the major scale. I can just transpose full song up full octave. Now you see that the notes are within the upper register of the harmonica. I'll explain. Here. So you see now you can play the same melody in the upper register. You might even want to alternate between the two. So let's suppose I want to make a selection until here. If there is no beginning of the selection, it will take the beginning of the song for this. So we have this rectangle now covering all this. And I will transpose down. Now, this can be a little bit confusing for you now, because it says all octave up and down and tracks octave up and down. This is mainly when you have a MIDI file with more than one track and you have some hidden tracks so if you have a hidden track this option this tool will work only on the visible ones and this one will work on all of them if you have a selection everything you do here will be confined to the range of the selection so in this case the same you have one track and it's been displaced so this will too will have the same effect. So I will transpose down one octave. You can use these uh, hotkeys as well. So actually I'll use that about here and I use Alt D and this selection was transposed down. Uh, just simple. The Harpin has some very basic uh, editing features that are help, very helpful when you're dealing with these tunes and you want to change notes or maybe delete notes. In this case, I don't like this note to be hanging here, so I'll delete it. Okay.